He's worked with brands such as Spotify, BET, Foot Action, and Fashion Nova with a massive audience of over 10 million fans across social media platforms, including the one and only Rihanna. What, dude? Come on. <laughs> the Kansas City native Funny Marco joins the show. Welcome. Hey, man, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. And I love that jersey, too. Man. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's cool. So you said off camera you just like winners, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so how does an idea, like, convert into a joke, right? Mm -hmm. We kind of touched on that a little bit before we started, but, like, mm -hmm. let's elaborate a little bit. Break it down to me. As, yeah. like, you saying, like, when it comes to a joke? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, like, we were, like, you know, we were talking about how sometimes there's, there's, like, specific rules for comedy, but sometimes mm -hmm. you don't exactly follow those. I mean, you know, the, the game that change with, you know, the air as it grows, so mm -hmm. it's just kind of, like, make sure you read the room and know who you're talking to at times. Right. Because some people can take stuff the wrong way, exactly. even when you don't mean it. So it's just really reading the room, and that's how you really create a joke with reading, like, okay, I'll start this way, and you can read the energy. As you say something, you can, like, look, and like, okay, yeah. how they feeling? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or if they don't like that, pull back. So right, I got you. I say that. You know, we, we were talking about how to, how we, because we were, we were watching mm -hmm. uh, some of your work this morning, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I was kind of thinking, like, man, what do we do? Because it's so, it's so dry and cool, like your right. interview with Kevin Hart. I was almost like, all right, so are you just going to take this over yeah, and ask me yeah. questions? <laughs> right. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the best night of your life in terms of comedy. Tell us mm -hmm. about that. Uh... What do you mean? Like, what's what's like the best? What's the one of the best shows or experiences that you've mm. had on stage? Mm. See, look, that was bad. You see how you like broke it down? All right. So I say with each state is different. So with learning their city and then actually talking to them about what goes in their city, so it makes them feel like, okay, you looked into us. You yeah. know, and now we want to hear from you. So it's really giving them what you know about their state and then get them a part of you. So I like to get them a part of my story, but I start off with letting them know this is how I feel about y'all state. This is what I didn't learn, you know? So <laughs> yeah. that's one thing that I didn't dig into. And another thing, just like I said, reading the room. Yeah. You know, and it's good to have different people in there. You can really see like, okay, like, and talking to the audience too as well. So that's one thing I'm good at is just really like improving with the audience. Like this person look like she got a story behind her. Let's talk to her. Yeah, let's then, pick it, let's yeah, pick yeah, it out yeah. and see what's going on. That's yeah. pretty cool. So talk to me about like the aha moment of when you decided that you wanted to be Funny Marco. Mm -hmm. Like how did that happen? That's a good question. He's asking me good questions. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say it started off in school as being a class clown. Yeah. So it was just that. So I know I used to make a lot of people laugh, and then uh, it was hard for me to keep a job. So and then I, another thing, when I was keeping a job, it was because my personality. So they was like, "Yeah, we, his work ethic sucks, but he's a good person." So. <laughs> So he's constantly late, but when he yeah. gets here, we have such a good time. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that, so personality gets you far sometimes. You yeah, know, I feel absolutely. like everybody got that at the workspace. <laughs> you just be like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They might say that about me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 All right. So what are the, what are some future what are some future plans? <laughs> yeah, this is just gonna devolve yeah. from here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Wait on you. We get it. <laughs> no. So what's what's in the future? What do you got going on? Uh, I say projects really getting into acting. And when it comes to acting, you got to take acting classes. Yep. You know, as you know, I talked to you about your story. It's, it don't just jump in as you being you. Sometimes you right. have to step in another character. Absolutely. And it's just like take like take yourself away from yourself and be this. And you got to lock yourself away for a couple of months and read this over and over and lock in and, and be study. another person. So yeah. imagine like when, you know, Batman play Batman. Like he really has to like be this person. Yeah, he's, he's not Bruce Wayne anymore. He's yeah, flip the and switch. then I also look into, what's the guy that played Iron Man? Tony Stark. Yeah, do you, I feel like he didn't play Iron Man so much and he probably didn't like Oh yeah, you, you're character. Robert Downey Jr. Him, all I see is Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, he's now he's kind of in typecast to Robert yeah. Downey Jr., right? He like is Tony Stark now. Yeah, it's yeah. funny, like, because he's been that character for so long, it's just like when I see him, it's like, well, you'll sue that. And yeah, exactly. Like, like come yeah. on, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. It's very it's pretty interesting. Yeah, acting's kind of a weird thing, right? The, to be able to remove yourself from yourself is mm -hmm. really hard. Yeah. And, it, and it takes like a lot of practice and a lot of training. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. So uh like what is your favorite city to perform in? Mm. I say all of them because I'm learning new stuff. Yeah. So like even being here, like I love it here because I got to see the food. They got some good food down here. Yeah, what'd you eat? Uh, dang, I wasn't, I just wouldn't expect you to ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> I was lying. I ain't trying ah, to. Listen to that. 
<laughs> I just showed up I, this morning. I actually <laughs> haven't eaten anything yet. This is crazy. But I'm just, I can feel it, though. <laughs> I can just feel that it's good food down here. Yeah, we do. We yeah. have some pretty good stuff. Yeah. You, you've never been to Jacksonville before? No, I haven't. No? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Well, welcome, man. I really yeah. appreciate it, dude. We're really looking forward to it. And I, and I will come and see the show. He's like, no, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> you know how some people say that they're coming to your show, and yeah. then they like, yeah, I'll come. And yeah. they don't look at you? Yeah. That's what he did. But, but see, the thing is, is like I was actually talking to the person who hands out the tickets. So uh -huh. I was actually, you know, I was yeah. talking to the powers that be. Instead of talking to the person that invited you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right on that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much, man. I really mm -hmm. appreciate you coming to the show, man. This is no, I appreciate really you. Thank you for y'all having me, bro. All right, Jordan, what you got for us?